this video i'm going to explain how to interface dht sensor with arduino and uh, write a program to print temperature and humidity values on serial monitor we are, i'm going to simulate uh, this using uh, oak5 platform not in tinkercad in tinkercad no dht sensor models are available so but in oak5 we have dht 22 is there not 11 22 model is there so a little bit difference is there between dht 11 and 22 uh, i am going to explain in dht so here i am going to the code now actually so this is the program so this is the connection you have to make you have to uh, dst 22 has actually three pins vcc you have to connect the five volts ground you have to connect to the ground pin of arduino and data pin sda pin you have to connect to pin number two so dst sensor one module we can use 3.5 to 55 5.5 volts our uh, output both temperature and humidity through serial data so you will get temperature value also humidity value also that's why it's called dht detect uh, uh, humidity and temperature both it will uh, give the so specification operating range is 3.5 volts to 5.5 volts operating current is 0.3 volts 0.3 milliamps uh, output is actually coming serial okay so you can output check the output in serial monitor that serial data you can check it out in the serial monitor uh, three point uh, this dst11 okay dst11 range is 0 to 50 degree humidity is 20 to 90 degree but uh, dst22 has more range uh, but in our lab we are using this one but in the work why we have dst22 uh, whose range is actually will get a negative temperature also you can measure up to one to uh, under more than 100 degrees and humidity also okay uh, you'll get uh, more than this range so accuracy is actually plus or minus one degree and uh, for humidity it is plus or minus one percent temperature is plus or minus one degree so for this in the actual uh, regular board you have to use uh dst since we are using dst we have to install dst library okay you have to go to h then include library or you can go to tools then manage libraries then you have to search for dst sensor library okay dst sensor library or dst library anyone you can download and you have to install it okay now i will copy this code so now let me Simulate this. Okay. I will go to project new project. Select the Arduino. You know by default you will get this. So here you have to paste the code. okay now here you have to place one dst sensor so go to search for dst this is not available in uh, arduino so i am trying to do this so this one is vcc you can see here this is serial data and this is no connection this is ground so vcc you connect to vcc you connect to 3.3 volts or 5 volts operating range is 3.5 to 5.5 you can use any old ground is black color automatically this tool will give automatically ground as black vcc as red but in tinkercad you have to color next serial data which pin we used uh, define dst pin pin number two so we can connect this one to pin number two if i use uh, four here you can use four you can use five any pin you can use this that's all okay vcc ground and serial data is connected to the pin number two so define dst pin two 
okay you on that serial data from the dst sensor is coming to this define dst type as uh, dst11 and dst22 since we are using here dst22 only for simulation purpose you change it to 22 but in the lab regular lab we are using dst11 you have to keep dst11 only there okay dst we are calling this dst pin and dst type and after that uh, we are set up ping serial baud rate of 9600 uh, bits per second and we are starting by calling dst begin so in the loop uh, we are declaring uh, temperature and humidity as float if you declare it as end it will not give uh, fractional values if you declare as float you will get fraction values like 23 point uh, up to uh, two digits you will get here let us check how much uh, uh, how many fractures will give fractions it is going we, uh, temperature and humidity are declared as float in point type dst read temperature first that will be stored in temperature humidity is a variable of type float and uh, we are reading using dst read humidity so please observe that read temperature t is capital read humidity h is capital and if you call this function that value will be read serially and it will be placed in humidity variable after that we have to print in serial monitor serial print humidity this will print humidity okay colon next this whatever value it is actually taken humidity that will be printed here after that serial print percentage this humidity no that value followed by temperature that's why here temperature this humidity always expressed in percentage that's why uh, this printing is actually continuous in the same line first it will print percentage which is actually for humidity okay after some space after some say or you can use slash t one tab temperature colon next it will print serial print temperature this value this value will be printed next serial print or a degree centigrade see uh, degree this small you can select from uh, google or you can just type c only okay or if you type for uh, symbol for centigrade degree centigrade it will come and that p and you can paste here okay this print ln means it will go to the next line okay it will go to the next line and after that this will be in the loop continuously uh, it will printing temperature and humidity values and uh, there is a delay of 2000 millisecond 2000 delay means it is millisecond it is obtained but two seconds so we'll save this so i'm writing it as experiment number three no so dst sensor experiment number two now i will click simulation see again server is uh, busy so you have to press some two three times If you try at night time or uh, evening time, you will get. Uh, uh, now it is a peak time. That's why server load is a uh, high, and it uh, it will ask for. See, this is get free license. Uh, plans is there. It will come. Uh, you have to click on two three times. Will come. This should be in green color means immediately it will come. If it here, it will be faster. If it crosses, if it is in red, it, you have to wait for some time because many people are using this tool online. It will come within uh, seconds. One minute. You have to wait. Otherwise, you have to purchase this. So then you uh, will get immediate response.
The server is actually too busy. One minute. See now, actually, build failed, and it is showing that uh, it is only recommended uh, which since which library is actually missing. Okay, so I told now you have to install DST library sensor library. So it will automatically install. If I click uh, install, automatically uh, install libraries are available here. This is a sketch. Okay, here in install uh, library is missing automatically it will ask and if i click install it will come here included here so i think it is a peak time i have to try in the different time okay i will continue remaining experiments in uh, time so let me do this okay now seek came humidity is 40 temperature is 24 degrees coming so you can click on this and adjust here see it is changed humidity value also you can change i change it to 18 18 i'll change the humidity to 61.5 i can change the value this is actually in the simulation we have to change cl by clicking on DST sensor. If I use DST11 here, these readings are not proper. Okay, you can use here DST11 only, but uh, since we are using DST22, better use DST22 uh, only. But if I use DST11 here, these readings and those readings are not uh, ma matching. So only for simulation purpose, use DHT22. Otherwise, in your lab, if you are using DHT22, you can use DHT22. Otherwise, you can use DHT11. Thank you. You can stop simulation.